trees are green, flowers are blooming, and it is warm enough to drink iced oats lattes. Welcome to spring! First of all, hi! I am delighted to meet with you today and share some of the things that brought me a lot of joy in the past few weeks. If you are new here, just like I am on YouTube, my name is Estelle, I am an illustrator and designer, and one of my hobbies is to share some of my work and daily joys on the internet. I will start the spring favorites with a podcast that led me into the rabbit hole of long distance hiking. The podcast is called Les Baladeurs. If you're French or if you are learning French, I highly recommend this podcast. It has one of the most immersive sound design I have experienced so far with podcasts. The stories are inspiring, overall they make you question yourself and your relationship to the natural world thanks to the various guests they host on the podcast. They are now launching their seventh season already, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. The episode that I want to talk about is the episode number... 74 and the translation is the call of the Appalachians Appalachians sorry for my pronunciation <laughs> in this episode you follow Cecilia Barnabé which is a who is not which is who is a 27 year old woman Uh, in 2014, she's seeking adventure and sense in her life, basically. The same year the movie Wild goes out and she gets obsessed with the idea of walking a long distance trail. So she simply flies over <laughs> the Atlantic and starts one of the most famous hiking trail in the world, the Appalachian Trail. To give you a few numbers, the hike is 2,185 miles and it goes through 14 states, from Georgia to Maine. In this podcast episode, she tells, she story tells her adventures in the Appalachians and it is just wonderful, inspiring. I, I'm lacking words, as you can tell. <laughs> I will leave you with that and now we will follow on the second step of my rabbit hole, my obsession with long hiking trails, the movie mentioned just a few seconds ago. Second step in my new obsession, the movie Wild. The movie was launched in 2014. It was produced, directed, directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. I need to stop moving <laughs> on this chair. Uh, it makes so much noise. The main character is Cheryl and it is played by Reese Witherspoon, amazing actress. We love her. It's a story about grief, addiction, life, hardships, and finding one's self while hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. The story is intense. It is visually breathtaking. I can only recommend watching it. I feel kind of late to the party, to be honest, since it was out 10 years ago, because we love numbers here. <laughs> <laughs> the trail is 2,663 
miles long and goes through California, Oregon, and Washington states. Since I consider movies and books to be two different pieces of art, two different propositions, I am eager to read the book that inspired the movie. Last but not least, in this obsession that just started and keeps growing, I'm quickly gonna summarize a book I've read on the subject. I don't think if I summarized the book, I would give it any justice, to be honest. So I will simply read the official summary that is on the fourth cover. I think that's what you call it in English as well. If I'm mistaken, it's gonna be written somewhere. The Salt Path by Rainer Wynne is a memoir about a couple who lose everything and embark on a 630 mile journey along the UK's, the UK's southwest coast path. Their journey is one of healing, resilience and finding unexpected kindness in the face of adversity. I don't have anything else really to add except that I loved it. I loved the way it was written. It is an adventure telling, but I also think it is socially an important book to read. Most of the people who didn't love the book was because of the writing, which was what I loved. So I guess just read it and make up your own mind on the question. Fun fact, I just discovered that they are making it into a movie, so we'll see how this goes. I'm very much looking forward to watch it. I'm blanking out. <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. But what I want to say is that basically becoming homeless can happen to anyone and this book is a great reminder of it. We managed to make a complete sentence. Amazing. Now we are moving out of the long distance hiking obsession <laughs> part. I will quickly recommend a song I discovered just recently thanks to SoundCloud. It is called Steam with three E's. <laughs> from a group called Shelly and the song was launched in 2020. They haven't launched anything since then, but yeah, I really like the song. Please have a little listening with me. the last categories of this spring favorites <laughs> otherwise it's gonna be a bit sad this category will probably won't be in other um, seasonal or monthly favorites but basically it's been a few months I have been building a work setup mm, for some context I work in customer service right now and I work from home my partner was like oh do you want to have a nicer setup uh you've been talking a lot about mechanical keyboards or having a nice mouth pad so that when you work from home you're actually really enthusiastic to go to work simply because you have a nice setup <laughs> this sounds materialistic but at the same time, I'm this person. I like to have a beautiful environment. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be a few lights here and there and so on. 
it can be a plant or a drawing, a car, but my environment is very important, especially when it comes to work. So here is my work setup introduction. A few months ago, I got this mechanical keyboard from Varmulo. I bought it at a shop in Berlin called Geekboards. They are based in Prenzlauer Berg and they basically are the first physical shop for mechanical keyboards, which is really cool. My partner found them through a face Instagram, not on Facebook, wait, through an Instagram app advertising. And we went there and I found my dream keyboard with pastel colors and, and amazing sounds and sensations. I know it's not for everyone, but I'm really having a fun time with it. Second of all, I got a really cute mouth pad from a French illustrator called Lana Songe. It is a drop that she made a few months ago, I think. It is a very cute setup. I'm very happy with it. Category is going to be short because otherwise I'm going to ramble for hours and we don't want that to happen. So, in January, I know, it's not really spring, I went to England on vacation to visit friends and also I really love the UK, so just a good reason to go there, anyhow. I visited friends in London and I finally went to this beautiful stationery shop which is called Choosing Keeping. I've been dreaming to go there for a few years now, so I got a bit overjoyed and just I was in England. So as someone who worked and still wishes to work in stationery,
everyone. We made it to the last category, which are clothes. My spring and summer wardrobe have been dusted out of the basement. Yay! I have this routine every year and every year rediscovering my summer and spring clothes bring me so much joy. Outside the fact that I am thrilled to wear my beautiful old garments, this year I have two new um, additions to my wardrobe. The first one is a jean jacket from Uniqlo. And I truly believe that now it is simply my personality. <laughs> I wear it all the time whenever I have the occasion to wear it. I wear it, it is so versatile, so comfortable and my size, which is something we really like. The second garment is a bit more special because it is my birthday gift from 2023 that was finally finished. And it is a gingham skirt that my partner stitched for me. So yeah, you probably had on this side videos of those garments um, I really love them I'm very happy to have been able to add them to my wardrobe and I cherish them so 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 much and I hope to wear them at least a decade it is all for me if you made it till the end thank you so so much for still being here if you have any recommendations regarding my new obsession or questions or feedback also in the video I would happy to have any of it if it's positive or constructive please do also feel free to leave a comment uh, give a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more and yeah take good care I see you very soon bye